and start by acknowledging that we're making on the land for the better of the people and to pay my respects uh, to their ancestors. Okay, um, my role is a brief one uh, so that we can make a good start and keep to time as we go on. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank everybody here for coming along. I know the pressures that people are under. I take very seriously the amount of work that has gone into preparing the information that was circulated to everybody for attending at such length today. And indeed, my apologies for some of the follow-up work that will emerge out of this workshop. So my profound thanks to everybody. And in addition, thanks to certain members of the learning teaching team, um, Rebecca Crosby for her organisational efforts today, Thomas Malloy for... Um, uh, videoing uh, our two presenters. Um, thank you to you both. Okay, I'll introduce our two first speakers shortly and in brief so that we can make a good start, but I thought I would also just start by setting out, I guess, four aims of what we're attempting to do today. And they are, first of all, on a kind of course level, and I'll speak more as we come to them about what each session of today's workshop is intended to achieve. But first of all, on a course level, the intent is for us to work collectively in small groups to give feedback uh, on each other's courses, what we're thinking of doing in terms of assessment uh, for the trimester, uh, what we considered, what we decided against, what the thinking was behind uh, our shift, what we're struggling with, what help we might need to try and resolve that on a collective level uh, and collegially. Two, I suppose, on a program level, and this, some of this work has already been done by Marina and myself, and thank you to everybody for filling in their forms and sending it back. I guess a mapping exercise to try and work out if there are any gaps in skills and assessment um, from the shift to a semester to a trimester-based system, indeed the reverse, whether we're over-assessing particular uh, skills and whether we're appropriately, I suppose, scaffolding and building our student skills as they move throughout uh, the programs. Third, an aim of today is, I suppose, to ventilate common and shared concerns. What are the problems that we're grappling with in our particular courses, in, in particular groups of courses, indeed across the program as a whole? What answers can we come up with? What assistance can we, from the learning and teaching side, give to people in terms of transitioning uh, to the trimester? And fourthly, I suppose, from my perspective, to kind of reiterate and put people again on notice of some of the parameters institutional, logistic, and otherwise intellectual even, uh, that we're working uh, within. So, you know, from the mundane, I suppose, assessment policies at the university level and at the faculty level as well, the um, pressing questions of the times that we will have to turn around marking uh, under the uh, new calendar, uh, the timing of the summer clerkship you know, uh, process in 2019, what's that going to look like, when are the students going to be filling in their applications, when are they going to be having their interviews, um, and the question of reading week and how do we deal with uh, a problem which we'll, we'll talk about in a little bit more detail um, uh, as we go along, but uh, the question of how to resolve uh, the problem of uh, Easter uh, and Anzac Day in term one of 2019, but it won't just be in 2019, it'll be a recurring problem that we have to gra grapple with. So again, that's another parameter that, that um, we will be grappling with collectively and as a wider group at the end of the session. But I suppose that's enough from me. What I would now like to do is to pass over to our two excellent speakers whose uh, biographies, which I won't uh, repeat at length, are on your program sitting on everybody's seats. I'm enormously grateful both to Des Butler, who is a professor at QUT Law School, uh, and to Maxine Ebers, um, ABE um, uh, in law uh, at UTS, for coming to talk to us today. Uh, the roughly today's session breaks up into two. The first is all about enlightenment, courtesy of our two visitors, telling us respectively about online and digital forms of assessment, and also the kinds of shifts and problems that they encountered at a fellow law school, moving from a semester to a trimester-based system. And then the second part is us, we will excuse our, uh, our two colleagues from outside law school and we'll resolve into a kind of intra-law school discussion, trying to work collegially through some of the issues as they emerge.